What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So, Javi Martinez, um, a player I think many of us expected to leave this season. I mean, many of us expected him to leave last season, but it seemed like he is on the road, on the way to Athletic, um, going back to Spain in a move that I think the fees reported are anywhere between twelve and well, anywhere between ten and twelve million euros. Um, this one specifically comes from Sky Sports News, who say that um, that they've had an they've had an agreement with Javi so far, but they haven't had talked to Bayern yet. But that's because they know that Bayern has not put any roadblocks in front of Javi. They are letting him leave if the appropriate offer comes in. Now Javi, of course, he came in 2012-2013 um, and won the treble, the missing glue, as your pinkers said back then. Um, to winning the the Champions League trophy, and obviously then he managed to win it, which you know says a lot. When your pankers basically says, "I want Javi," it doesn't matter if he costs forty million. If we get him, we win the Champions League, and then in that same season we win the Champions League. It just shows you how good your pankers was at getting what he wants and then using what he got to the fullest capacity. Um, Javi, of course, had many, many fantastic um, outings for Bayern. You know, some of the big highlights of his career at Bayern were, the, for me, for, um, the game against uh, Barcelona. The way he hounded and hounded and chased down Iniesta was a sight to be seen. Absolutely fantastic. The double pivot with him and Bastian Schweinsteiger was absolutely brilliant as well. Just seeing those two interact and those two do really, really well. Um, just showed the unity in the squad, but it also showed how good he was of a footballer. Then um, another excellent performance that happened a year later in the Super Cup against Chelsea, where he scored the equaliser in the last minute of extra time um, to win us, to, well, to ultimately win us the game when it went to penalties. So he's had some fantastic outings for Bayern. He's been a you know fantastic servant of the club. Um, in a lot of seasons so far, it really hasn't worked out for him all that much, to be completely honest. You know, he has been quite quite frankly struggling. He's been struggling to get into the team, uh, whether that's in midfield or whether that's further back in, as, you know, in, in defence as a centre-back. And I wish him nothing but the best. He came with the treble, he left with the treble. And he's never complained. That's the key thing here. Like, like he's never complained. He is a player that, yes, he hasn't been playing much at all over the past couple of months but he's never complained he's still giving his best in training you know we've not heard anything of him not giving his best in training so he's just still doing really really well in training um he's also doing really really well um uh, whenever he comes in hasn't really had a bad performance just hasn't really had a great performance either he's just been solid rock solid um from my perspective i have to say that javi uh, if he leaves, um, gracias. Um, I think those are the only words that really come to mind. Gracias, Javi. Um, and thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. That's how I think of what uh, what buy is. Can't, can't, doesn't come to mind right now. But gracias, Javi. Um, goodbye, amigo. That's... <laughs> yeah um happy for me personally one of my favorite players i have to say not because like he was technically fancy or anything of that sort but because he you know he had such a high expectation of placed him he was our record signing for a good solid few years you know um the big news obviously was that we lost the champions league against chelsea then we got him was he going to be the answer is he going to be the answer it was the answer um and, and he just came in looked hungry looked sharp looked um excelled excelled on the pitch whenever he was needed to and he was just a player that was a joy to watch because you knew that if he's on the pitch he will give a hundred percent and there aren't many players where you can say yeah even if he's having a bad game you know he's giving a hundred percent with Javi you knew whether he's having a good game whether he's having a bad game whether he's at fault for a mistake or whether he came in in like 89th minute and only has one minute left to play he would give it his all. And that's a trait that I will forever be thankful for. So if he is indeed leaving, which I think at this point seems more likely than not, um, I would say, if I were to rate it myself, I would say probably a 95% that he leaves. I would honestly go, I would go as far as saying 99% to be completely honest, that he leaves this season. So from that perspective, I just want to say gracias, 
Javier Martinez. Thank you for everything you've done for the club and good luck at your new club. That's just my thoughts, so ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you all thought about, um, uh, what, what you all think about Javi leaving this summer. I, as I said, for me, it is, it's pretty much a done deal. Whether, you know, whether it's going to be done now or in a month's time, it's a done deal, regardless regardless of how I look at it. It's basically, at this point, it is basically um, a done deal. So, gracias, Javi. Thank you for everything. And good luck in your future endeavors.